<clears throat> Good morning. This is Kathy for Getting Chatty with Kathy, and I want to thank you so much for joining us today. Today we are talking to a fellow CJTR radio show host. I have Erica Folnovic. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Polnovich <laughs> with us today. And before we get interviewed, I did do a little sleuthing about oh. you oh. to see what was what. And I feel like you have a very interesting creative side that I'm excited to explore today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you, you do Etsy, I see, with like little like oh, clay yeah. things. Yeah, usually when I introduce myself, I'm like, I'm like, I'm, hi, I'm Erica. I'm an artist, I'm an educator, and an arts administrator. Is that what you say? <laughs> That's what I usually Oh, so I kind of hit myself. it on the head. Yeah. Like, arts, arts, arts. Yeah. I saw your little creations, and they were absolutely adorable. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I love when the people explore their, like, artistic side in venues like that. And it's just, like, a great way to kind of get those, like, squiggles out of our head and, like, play around, hey? Mm. Yeah, and, uh, like, fiber art. I always consider is kind of one of my primary practices in my art studio. So yeah, things like uh, the, you probably saw the fabric portraits of people and the puppets and (laughs) all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Good job. Well, and and then on top of that, you volunteer here at CJTR. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not going to say the correct name of it, but I know it's like a Nori Bong kind of like vibe, mm-hmm. and it's with K-pop. What's yes. the name of this show? <laughs> uh, so on Friday nights from 8 to 10 p.m., I host a show called Tebak. Uh, so it, that just means like to show like, wow, like, wow, like cool or like neat wow. <laughs> in, in, in Korean. And so the, the show is a K-pop and K-indie, pretty much like anything in the Korean music industry. Like we mostly play K-pop, but I'm kind of a K-R&B, K-indie Ooh. aficionado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I co-host that with, uh, with Joe, and so the two of us are just nerding out to K-pop on Friday nights. So do you understand Korean language? Are these words in Korean? Yes, yeah. So the whole show is in Korean. Both Joe and I are not fluent Korean speakers. <laughs> we we tried so hard during the pandemic as like a pandemic project to learn Korean <laughs> and like do like we had flashcards and we were mm-hmm. taking we were doing lesson books and everything like that. Um, but uh, we're definitely not fluent. We know how to read. Hangul, like because yes, it's, it's a fa- it's a phonetic easy. language. Yeah, so it's I think very there's easy. twenty letters in it or close to, and yeah. it is very phonetic. Yeah, exactly. So once it's you know like, it. once you know what the characters look like, you know how it sounds. 100%. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the uh, um, comprehension is very <laughs> slow. It's an old language that got transferred into a new way of writing it with the with Hangul, right? Yeah, because the uh, Korean language was originally written out in, in Chinese characters. And uh, I believe it's King Sejong was the one that created oh the Hangul oh, system. <laughs> well, we just went deep went on the deep, Korean yeah. history. I spent a year there teaching English. We talked about this before mm-hmm. a picnic. So I love Korean. But my K-pop time there, like, I didn't dive in it, to it as much as I should have. But I did go to concerts and stuff. It was just, again, I didn't understand the language either. So it was kind of mm-hmm. like, sounds good. And yeah. they had, like, the Backstreet boys vibe then, too, because oh, I was yeah. there. In five. Oof. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. that would have been gr- oh yeah. The costumes and oh the yeah, stage and they at did it at malls, time. like big yeah. malls. It was like Tiffany, but like <laughs> in Korea, it was cool. Yeah. Anyways, um, so I appreciate you doing the Friday show. Like that's cool to like be able to like share on a Friday night, like some cool Korean music for everybody in Regina. So don't mm. forget about that, guys. Especially because Korean music is so fun. Like we for. We don't hear it on our radio stations throughout Regina, like on those commercial sites, but that's why I love CJTR. It's like we're able to play like mm-hmm. like whatever we want and explore different genres of music that most people aren't playing on the radio waves here. And it's really good stuff. It's introduced. I've learned so much different music from this radio station mm-hmm. just because we have a different variety. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, we play everything from polka to, <laughs> you know, K-pop, right? Yes, yes, and we have people <laughs> reading with the most soothing voices, and mm-hmm. it's just lovely, and I appreciate how everybody has their little fun little thing that they like to do. Mm-hmm. And without members... Ah, here's the tie-in. Do, yeah. do, 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 do. Got, got it. <laughs> we can't do this sort of thing, and we can't have us doing what we love so much. So I really appreciate what you're doing. You're doing a membership drive from February 9th to, to March 9th, and you are spreading the CJTR vibe throughout the city during that time. There's a bunch of different things going on. So while we have you, <laughs> could you go through all of these fun things? Yeah, uh, so like my my role at CJTR is I'm I'm the secretary on the board of, uh, on the board of directors, but I'm also the head of our outreach committee, uh, and so our outreach committee is responsible for putting on events and activities out in the community to try and get us more connected with the community. Like, even though we 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 are because CJTR. Um, all of our volunteer radio hosts are just people in your community. They could be your coworkers, they could be a family or friend of yours. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're all just volunteers with passion for our arts and culture, and we want to share that passion with other people in the community. Uh, and like uh, Kathy was saying, like membership is so important to any nonprofit organization, but especially to ours. Um, it's no. <laughs> No secret that the you know media industry has been struggling over the past few years for various reasons. Like post uh, COVID, um, we've had uh, less businesses to buy into ad <laughs> ads, <laughs> which is mm-hmm. one of our primary sources of, of revenue. Um, and even you know post pandemic here now too. Um, like you know our members haven't gotten together a lot and gotten to know each other. Uh, there's been so many new programmers too that have joined our ranks in the past few years, like including yourself. Yeah, right? <laughs> in March I'll be one year, I think it is. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. that's so lovely. It goes quick <laughs> though; it's amazing. Yeah, because we did um, some had some growing pains through COVID, like most businesses, mm-hmm. and I think jumping back into any um, group, the memberships are down. Mm -hmm. And memberships keep things going. Um, Every dollar for here is, like, so important for us. So how are you promoting us and getting the word out? I think there's some neat things you're doing. Yeah, so we we wanted to get out to the community to do and put on a a couple events. I think by the time this airs, the Cure event would have already completed. Yeah. (laughs) So our launch event uh, would be on uh, February 9th. Uh, and so we're bringing in Artist Monk, Melodina, and an up-and-coming band, Endless Retirement, to play at The Cure uh, as kind of our launch. And then uh, as part of the membership drive, too, we're going to be having uh, an open house here at the CJTR Studios on the kind of family day Monday. Okay, uh, okay, so, you're going yeah. way too fast oh, on sorry. that. <laughs> so the first thing you said was, we are doing something on the 9th at The Cure. Now, The Cure, for those of you guys that haven't been there before, is downtown. Mm -hmm. It's a cool little pub. They have a great little, like, area where you can sit and listen to music or a little area where you can kind of even get up and dance. We were there for the um, fundraiser. At the Radiothon. Yes! And Mm -hmm. it was so fun. I brought a crew of people with me, and we just sat and had drinks. And, like, it was great because you guys, again, brought, like, a variety of music. We heard, like, a metal band. It was this dude with his guitar and a drummer and like at first we were like what the heck is going on here and then we got into because this dude was like rocking out Mm -hmm. and then we had a dj going it was so fun so when you go through your list of bands that are playing can you kind of tell me what kind of music they're they should expect from those bands yeah, so uh, Melodina is actually one of the hosts on CJTR. She hosts a show called Rhythm uh, and Vibes, uh, but uh, she's kind of an R&B uh, singer-songwriter. Cool. Uh, and then Monk does, I would consider it maybe like experimental hip-hop. Okay, <laughs> <be>. okay, <laughs> I like this. Would be the vibe from, from Monk, and then uh, Endless Retirement is a... Uh, an up-and-coming band so they I know I've watched some of their videos they've done you know 
let's say Nirvana esque. Yeah, oh, I so like it's it. like a, a huge mix. Or you're gonna get a little hip hop, a little R and B, a little bit of kind of classic rock. Right on, <laughs> Grunge, a little angry grungy rock. rock. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. So that's one evening. And how much does that cost to get in? Uh, so it's a ten dollar cover. Ten bucks to see four bands. Uh, three, three? three bands, yeah. Are you kidding me? And then it's pay what you can for members. So, you know, buy your membership, get in for free, or buy your membership and, you know, still support us because all the proceeds uh, at any of the events that we're talking about today um, are going to go to support your local arts and cultural scene and help, you know, support us supporting other artists in our community. It's just full yeah. circle. It's full circle. Full yeah. circle. Okay, so 10 bucks, but if you want to buy your membership, a membership is $30. Mm-hmm. So really, like you could see that these guys for like a really affordable price. Oh my gosh, that's mm-hmm. awesome. We're going to go. <laughs> or I guess, yes, we will. Well, yeah, you would have gone. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so then the next event you were talking about is an open house on family day. Yes, yeah, on the okay. holiday Monday there. So is everybody just going to be able to jump on the radio and talk? No. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, the, ra- the the actual studio will be under lock and key. <laughs> good decision, good um, decision. But uh, we'll, um, what we're going to be doing is, uh, like, June annually we do uh, a music garage sale, but we're going to be pulling out some of our music garage sale items and having those available for sale in our lobby. So... If you were like, if you, you know, missed the garage sale last year, or you kind of want to see what kind of used CDs, vinyls, other music equipment we have, we're going to pull some. DVDs I even saw last yeah. year. It was awesome, <laughs> all the selection. Yeah, so we'll pull out some uh, music to sell, and uh, guess what the price is for those CDs and vinyl? On Family Day. $2 each. <laughs> see, think about this. You can go get some entertainment for 2 bucks and see what's going on here. Mm-hmm. I love an open house. That's such a good idea. Because I think most people that come on my show, they're always like, I didn't know this was here, this location. So maybe that's a great way of letting people see, like, we're right in your backyard, like, very close to Mm -hmm. downtown and... It's a cool vibe here. Yeah, and if you come, you might even see some familiar faces. You're like, hey, you're on the radio? You're on CJTR? I didn't know. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> totally. I yeah. always surprise people when I tell them, oh, I got a radio. What? Yeah. You? And I'm like, I know it's amazing that they let me talk <laughs> on here. But yeah. yeah, and that's the beauty of CJTR. And if you want to be on the radio, one of the conditions that we all agreed on, sorry, okay. is... um buying a membership too so i have a membership i have a membership right yeah. And, yeah. and it's just like a little contribution to this like cost mm-hmm. so then after this open house which is what's family day this year uh it is monday february and i'm quickly pulling up my I'm phone so happy to I look at a know. calendar because i can't remember the date off of the top of my head i think it's the 19th yes February 19th. <laughs> February 19th. Lovely. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's a perfect fun thing to do that's free yeah, and, on Family and Day. There will also be other things going on in the in the studio. We have uh, Buckthorn General Store also coming and doing a cool like friendship bracelet making activity. Because the whole, the whole theme of our membership drive this year is be a friend of community radio. Um, and you know, one of the ways you could do that is buying a membership, but also one of the ways you can do that is coming out to support, uh, events. Uh, if you own a business, buying ads on our, our station helps us immensely. Um, but yeah, so we'll have a friendship bracelet making in addition to, uh, anyone that donated to us during Radiothon. Uh, we're going to actually have your hoodie and t-shirt pickup. So I know people have been anxiously waiting because I've seen messages being like, when is the pickup for... <laughs> people want to wear their merch. Yeah, exactly. So uh, you'll be able to pick up your hoodies and t-shirts then too. Oh my goodness. So free tour, friendship ne- necklaces or bracelets. bracelets yeah. <laughs> um, plus you can buy entertainment for two dollars mm-hmm. i like the way you roll on family day that's perfect yeah. and that's what community is about shouldn't have to cost a lot to have fun here mm-hmm. right okay so then there's another 
event, I'm assuming, coming up after that. Yeah, on the on that Saturday, we're going to be at the Regina Farmers Market. So that would be Saturday, February 24th. Also selling more music and just connecting with our community again. Come out, you'll meet some of our radio hosts if you come to the Farmers Market. And then also support local commerce, right? Right. <laughs> and local farmers and, and makers and creators. Um, Where's that at? Uh, it's at the Cooperators Center, just in the real in the real district right so mm -hmm. you guys it's right by the stadium you're going to push on through to where there's those hockey rinks and they have like this long long hallway mm -hmm. i mean it goes on for ever <laughs> <laughs> so you're not going to get cold is it free parking to get there yeah. yeah so you don't have to pay for a parking and you're going to see all of these local merchants that at this time of year need their they need business guys so bring your wallets and maybe you can like buy yourself some cookies a membership, maybe something. Carrots. <laughs> Carrots, yeah, of course. And they taste better there than they taste, you know, from some other places here in the city. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we're hit up the farmer's market, and then what? Uh, so our closing event is what we're calling our bestie bowling night. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Bestie yeah. Bowling. Yeah, so we're we're gonna be heading to uh, Glencairn Bowlodrome in the East End. There at the that's the, near the Glencairn Shopping Mall. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and it's my so, favorite bowling alley. I might so be I, part of the leagues there. <laughs> <laughs> I had never been to it before uh, because I'm a North Ender. So oh, it's like, I see. So we would always go to Nortown. But. Right, and is that <laughs> five pin there? Uh, it's five pin at Nortown, yeah. Yeah. But Glencairn has five and ten pin, uh, but the bestie bowling night we're specifically doing uh, five pin. Five pin, that's probably that's easier. easier. <laughs> <laughs> I think the lightest for ten pin bowl, like ball, is like ten pounds. Like it's not light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need some serious muscles. <laughs> well, that's a wonderful place to go. I know that they have lots of like um, lanes there too. There's probably like twenty lanes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so our plan is to. Hopefully gather up about 60 bowlers. That's so th about, about 30 teams is what we're hoping for. Um, and what you're what we're going to be doing is you have to bowl one after the other. So you can't have like a ringer on your team. Uh, okay, <laughs> so, get, so what do you mean? So you have a game and so are you if, supposed to do 10 like... So if there's three frames... You're, you have to bowl, your friend has to bowl, then you have to bowl, then you oh, have to bowl. Oh, yeah. so you're sharing the you're amount sharing. of rolls? Yeah. So do you have eight people then? Like, how many players? Six, six people at a lane, <laughs> and so there'll be three teams of besties competing against each other. Oh, and they'll fantastic. And everyone will play um, at minimum two games. Cool. Uh, and then we are uh, reached out to a bunch of local businesses to get prizes that we're so excited about. Yeah. Anybody else want to volunteer some prizes, mm -hmm. please uh, <laughs> let her know. She's definitely um, open to it, Eric. But. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and so, you you know, people who get the best score get some prizes. People who don't get good scores are going to get prizes. There'll be a door prize. It'll <laughs> so, be fun. Yeah, yeah, come for a fun time in addition to, you know, get your hands on some local goodies. Definitely. And I know that they have good music there, too. So I'm sure we'll be able to play some good tunes while we're bowling. Mm -hmm. You know what? Like, you're highlighting a bunch of different places in the city while you're doing your membership drive. And I mm -hmm. really think that's cool, too, because, like we said, it's a full circle. So you're shining light on a few places, and they're also going to do that in return. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's kind of what community radio is about, is that reciprocity, right? Like, we're here for the community, and the community should be here for us, because we're a, an important kind of part of uh, local media in Regina. We are the only community radio station. Everything else is commercial uh, stations in the city, which means that, you know, we're doing a lot of things that commercial stations won't do. Nobody's censoring what I say, <laughs> which is shocking because maybe they should. I have said some weird things on the radio. <laughs> well, and uh, your, your commercial stations aren't broadcasting in all of the languages that we do either, right? Um, it's, you know, to them, not commercially viable, but for us, it's so important for our community and it's such an important service that we can provide to uh, heritage language speakers in, in our province. Especially mm -hmm. with the expanding landscape of our tapestry here, it's really great to see all of the. So I know back in the day, 
my dad was the reason why I joined CJTR now mm. because he had a radio show here and it was for Ukrainian music. So oh, okay. yeah. this was like way back in the day. I'm sure if we could pull the like like recordings, I'm not sure how great his Ukrainian was. <laughs> but at least the music, he would get all this like advice from people from Ukraine and then play it here. Mm -hmm. And so it was like up to date music for people here back home. Um, and then I know that there is your music, obviously, with Korean music. Mm -hmm. What else do we have for languages? Chinese? Uh, we Mandarin? Have, uh, we have uh, Farsi. Farsi. Um, I know we have Tagalog. Whoa. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. And um, Spanish as well. Yeah. Like that's... that's Hindu, what Urdu. Know. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I think that like without those sort of things, like we don't get to understand how everybody here is from probably somewhere else and enjoys maybe another language mm -hmm. of music. Interesting. So where do you see like CJTR going in the future? Like we're trying to collect memberships. Your mm -hmm. membership's gonna get you into events for free or cheaper. Yep. It's going to allow you to what else? Um, so anyone with a membership has what we call programmer bidding rights, uh, which essentially just means that you have the opportunity to apply for a show on CJTR. So if you feel that there's an underrepresented area of music, underrepresented voices on our station, like buy a, your membership, apply for a show and fill and fill that spot. because. We are, we are not all professional radio. <laughs> what are you talking what? about? <laughs> I'm totally. <laughs> uh, a lot of us come from a variety of different backgrounds. Yes, there are some people that are, you know, professionally journalists that are on our station, but we're also just community members that are just passionate about a subject area or a topic or about a certain type of music or um, our own kind of culture and are just want to share that with the community and find connections within the community because I mean that's how I I became a radio host uh, is I was getting really into k-pop but nobody in my immediate circle knew anything about k-pop so you know they would hear me ramble on and on and on about like all this stuff I was learning and she all was this ahead stuff of I her liked. time <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I discovered that Joe was doing this show Tevak on on CJTR and I was like wow here is someone in the community I can have these conversations with and so we were talking on social media for a year uh, up into <laughs> when I became a uh, co the, the co-host really? uh, just chatting about like oh like had, you know this person is coming uh coming back with a new album have you listened to it yet uh, like or <laughs> like minded <laughs> creatures yeah exactly and so eventually she was like oh this this girl isn't too weird i, I guess i can bring her on <laughs> as just you know a, a guest uh and then we realized that we knew each other from high school we had a bunch of mutual friends and, and now are you guys friends outside of here yeah, now we're like best friends <laughs> and we and you know in addition to doing our radio show every week we always hang out every like all every week and we watch the k-dramas together i and, think this is amazing yeah and so you never know kind of what connections you're making out in the community because um at the time that i joined megan was uh sorry joe um was uh, thinking about possibly not doing her radio show anymore mm. uh, and she's mentioned this uh, on, on air on our show too and that uh, bringing me on like revitalized her love energy for, for and it. energy because being alone in the studio is very different than having someone that you can have that interaction action with. with yeah and have and build that connection with and so uh, it can be sometimes isolating in the booth and so she's uh, she said bringing me on kind of helped break her out of that isolation <laughs> so do you guys um film it live every time or do you guys kind of have a little like nest egg or is it secrets that you don't want to share oh. <laughs> well in the in the pandemic we were recording from home and we were actually uh on skype calls with our own microphones and uh you know recording our separate audio and then uh joe has some expertise in audio editing so she would edit our shows and i'm in charge wow. of the social media <laughs> oh, that's a so 
we leg divide, work. Yeah, we divide, uh, divide and conquer. Um, but now we're we're mostly live in studio, so we can play kind of what's new, what's what's actually just happening right now in the Korean music. So you scene. plug it in and you like do your Here thing. Go. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. But we always uh, our playlists are always fifty fifty. Like I I pick fifty percent of it and she picks fifty percent unless we have you know a birthday coming up or something like that. Then you know they trump. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you get a hundred percent of the. the it's your day. Space. It's your day. It's your special day. Oh, I love that. Well, you yeah. know, I think that people don't understand that CJTR could also be enjoyed in other places too. Like we mm-hmm. have it on the airways, but you can go online and you can play it like so wherever you have a computer and internet. Plus, isn't it on, um, I believe, Access TV? If you go into the radio stations, you can find us there. Yeah, it's not, both Sastel and Access, if you have any of their kind of max or whatever. Max they, radio they, yeah, stuff. Yeah, the subscriptions on kind of the higher channels, you'll find us also uh, on Sastel Access. But yeah, online, like I know we've had uh, guests come onto our show uh, that were, you know, exchange students from Korea. And they had, you know, family listening in from South Korea because we get analytics from the online oh, listeners. And so it's like, neat. there's listeners from South Korea. We're going to assume that those, <laughs> those are for Teva. That's so <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we can, you know, spread our community elsewhere too. Yeah, but being, being a member at CJTR also uh, means that you can become more involved with our organization. Like you have voting rights at... Um, our AGM and in our and, and the business that we do and so you can help help us in that way like you can join our committees. board and our committees yes, as we well want to get volunteered and get out and do something you don't have to be on the airways we need help mm-hmm. all the time with lots of different things so yeah, yeah a lot of our board members and committee members aren't actually programmers they're just members that are really excited about what we do at CJTR and want to help in any way they can so yeah. if you want to help buy a, buy a membership and then say hey what can I do what can I help at C- what can I help with at CJTR these are the skills I have <laughs> mm-hmm. And you're going to meet a bunch of people that are excited about the same thing mm-hmm. you are. And that's getting out there and just contributing. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. exactly. Well, I cannot thank you enough for coming on and doing all the volunteer work you're doing and doing your, let, let your freak flow and doing what you do. Because I think we in Regina have some really exciting people that are doing interesting things. And it's so cool that you're one of them and you're able to come and help today in spreading the word about what other people like to do too. Yeah, thanks so much for having me on, Kathy. Wonderful. You guys take care out there. Bye now.